Quick reminder, get four free stocks with Robinhood this time. Robinhood, if you have not yet, link down below. Robinhood is doing four totally free stocks and you don't even have to deposit any money. Click the link down below or go to metkevin.com slash Robinhood. They will give you one free stock when you sign up and three more on February 1st, as long as you've linked your bank account. Link down below. Hey everyone, me Kevin here. Here's a short summary of what the White House press secretary just talked about with Brian Deese. First thing to know is Brian Deese is the new director of the National Economic Council, formerly held by Larry Kudlow, good old Larry Laro, uh, Larry Larry. He spoke today, Brian Deese, and uh, said the following, and then we'll get into uh, what we were able to take away, some of the most important bottom lines, because the press conference went on forever. So, bottom lines. Uh, first, Brian Deese says it's very important that we take decisive action. He put special emphasis on decisive action, especially since we've had 900 unemployment filings just last week. We still need more help and more support, uh, and, and that's very clear. In his discussions, he makes it very clear that the stimulus packages that, that we're talking about now are for 2021, and he counters arguments from people like Mitt Romney who say, hey, well, uh, we just passed a $900 billion stimulus package. Why are we doing another one? Well, we're doing another one because he says we've waited so long to do stimulus that the prior stimulus package, the $900 billion one, was just trying to fill in the hole a little bit from the second half of 2020. Now it's time to focus on going forward. And he makes it very clear that the risk, and he, this is a sort of echoing what Jerome Powell at the Fed says and what Janet Yellen says at the Treasury Department, or soon to be at the Treasury Department, uh, and that is that the risk of doing too little is far greater than the risk of uh, doing too much, aka it's okay if they overshoot, they just need to get work done. So we're expecting a few executive orders today. The first one will be on uh, food insecurity, increasing pandemic EBT benefits by 15%. Uh, this is specifically targeting families who rely on the school lunch programs. And uh, this, they want to update this because they realize that the costs of a healthy diet have gone up. Uh, food costs have certainly gone up during this pandemic. We've, that's where we've seen a lot of inflation. And, and so they want to push that, uh, that additional relief up. Uh, worker, uh, second thing is, uh, this, this in my opinion was pretty big for unemployment. They want to pass a measure that workers will have the right to qualify for unemployment insurance even if they refuse to go back to work if they think their workplace is unsafe. That's really, really su subjective. We are obviously expecting that uh, unemployment uh, you know, there, there are going to be a lot of people who are going to say, yeah, I, I feel unsafe and, and great, you get to stay on unemployment. Now that's going to be good for, uh, you know, certainly uh, a certain population until a certain population gets vaccinated, you know, older people or, or people with underlying conditions. But uh, that does create that sort of moral dilemma of, okay, well, what is defined as unsafe uh, as opposed to, you know, just taking unemployment. And so there's that balance, but that is coming. That's going to be an executive order today. So... Uh, I know everybody's gonna have different opinions on that. I won't. I won't opine any further. Uh, third, executive order that federal contractors must be paid at least fifteen dollars in minimum wage. Uh, Biden cannot do an executive order for just minimum wage for everyone. Uh, so this would be an executive order just for federal contractors. But then part of his bill would include the fifteen dollar federal minimum wage for everyone. So you might hear some confusion on that because sometimes people are like, "Oh, what is the fifteen dollar minimum wage just for federal workers?" Well, his executive order will have that just be for executive orders, but the plan is to have a $15 minimum wage for everyone. Uh, furthermore, there'll be, uh, they, they didn't go specifics on this, but they talked about relief to small businesses, specifically uh, more outreach for black, Latino, and Native American businesses. It's not really clear what they mean here uh, in, in like, are they just saying, we're going to do more marketing? Are we going to do more small business relief? We know that Biden says there is a plan to do more small business loan programs. We know the SBA uh, screwed us again with not opening the SBA EIDL portal again, just having only the targeted $10,000, which obviously if you are eligible for the target $10,000, you should absolutely take advantage of that. You could do a quick YouTube search, YouTube, just type in uh, Meet Kevin $10,000 stimulus grant, uh, and you'll find more details on that. Uh, next, there will be a big call on Sunday uh, between a bipartisan group of uh, Republicans 
and uh, Democrats who will be reviewing the next stimulus package, and they find that this is urgent to get done. Biden will be speaking later today about stimulus. Actually, I feel like he's coming up relatively soon. <laughs> we'll find out. But Biden will be speaking. Today is the day that they wanted to talk about stimulus relief. Uh, so he will be speaking at 2.45 p.m. Eastern time. Yeah, so that's actually coming up. Uh, he's usually like 15 to 30 minutes late, so that could end up getting delayed. But stay tuned for that. Uh, impeachment on impeachment, you know, they drilled this press secretary so many times on impeachment. She dodged this impeachment thing over and over again. Basically, she's just saying, look, whatever Congress does is up to Congress. But the bottom line is the, the, the only thing that Biden cares about is that an impeachment trial does not delay Congress from passing the COVID relief package. Then there was a question about, will this be the last round of stimulus? And the answer there was that, uh, look, if, if we don't get a package done now, yeah, we're probably going to have to do way more because we're going to have to dig ourselves out of an even crappier hole. Uh, so then uh, there was a little bit more talk about uh, why are we doing more uh, was one of the questions. And the president believes that there are many people still suffering and we need to do more. Obviously, uh, some Republicans disagree with that. Uh, they want the House to work on the uh, American Rescue Plan as soon as possible. That way the House can work on that while the Senate continues their trial. So that way, hopefully, they can separate this out. Defense Production Act has been invoked. We learned a lot about that yesterday. Uh, do you have enough Democrats on board to pass this plan? She dodged that question. Then we went to talking about the organizing resolution. Just so you know, when you hear organizing resolution come up, it's basically just a set of rules that... Uh, Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader in the Senate, and the minority leader, Mitch McConnell, agree on before they actually have to start debating on stuff. And they do that because it's good to have rules and boundaries set before you actually have to debate on something because then, then you might be in the middle of a debate and have a question about the rules. An organizing resolution makes that all clear. McConnell wants, the, wants it to be very clear in those rules that the filibuster will not be ended. And uh, Democrats are like, no, we're not going to guarantee to you that the filibuster won't be ended. Remember, the filibuster is the only power Mitch McConnell has left. The filibuster is a way to basically prevent bills from getting passed without 60 votes. Democrats have 50 votes. They got the 51 tiebreaker. But as long as the filibuster is around, you really need 60 votes to get a lot of stuff done in Congress. And so that gives Mitch McConnell a lot of power. So Mitch McConnell is trying to preserve his power in those organizing resolutions uh, Schumer is rejecting that, but Biden, he's actually opposed to getting rid of the filibuster. So there's a little bit of a Democratic split there. There was talk about doing a standalone bill, or, or at least a question about would there be a consideration to do a standalone bill? The answer to that was a hard no. There will not be, uh, well, I shouldn't say it was a hard no. It was her, she basically implied it was a hard no. Uh, she, you know, she said, well, what are you going to take out? And then kind of went on to list things. I'm, I'm summarizing a little bit here, but I don't think we're going to see any kind of standalone bill. She was taken aback by that question. So uh, that is the summary of the stimulus related uh, press conference. Now, remember, Robin Hood, thanks to Joseph Robin Hood Biden, his name is Robinette, will give you four free stocks if you use that link down below and sign up for Robin Hood. You do not have to deposit any money with Robin Hood. So unlike M1 Finance or, or uh, Webull, you could just sign up for an account, link your bank account. You'll get one free stock when you sign up. You'll see that page that says one free stock when you sign up. And then if you deposit your money, three more stocks, where I'm sorry, you don't have to deposit money, you just link your bank account. Uh, three more stocks will magically appear on February 1st. So get Robinhood if you have not yet. So now I'm going to see if there are any quick questions. And uh, otherwise, thank you so very much for watching the summary here. Uh, do the federal mask mandates have exceptions? Because these guys are rarely wear one. Yeah, you know, I think there's some, some me messaging that could be repaired there, no doubt. California EDD is having a surge in claims by independent contractors and gig workers. Self-employed, how, how many sent by Kevin? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, one question, do you think we will get the $2,000? I think we are definitely going to get the $1,400. And by I think definitely, I, I think that's like a 90% confidence that we're going to get the $1,400. Uh, I think adult dependents have a shot at getting a full $2,000. So there's everything that you need to know condensed for the press conference. Thank you so very much for watching it, folks. We'll see you in the next video.